Palm Jumura. The Palm Jumeirah is an artificial archipelago in the United Arab Emirates, created using land reclamation by Nekal, which extends into the Persian Gulf. It is part of a larger series of developments called the Palm Islands, including Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Deir, which, when completed, will together increase Dubai's shoreline by a total of 520 kilometers (320 mi). It is located on the Jumeirah coastal area of the Emirate of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Palm Jumeirah monorail is a 5.4 km long, 3.4 mi monorail connecting the Atlantis Hotel to the gateway towers at the foot of the island. The monorail connects the Palm Jumeirah to the mainland, with a planned further extension to the red line of the Dubai Metro. The line began operating on April 30, 2009. It is the first monorail in the Middle East. Construction of the Palm Jumeirah Island began in June 2001 and the developers announced handover of the first residential units in 2006. In early October 2007, the Palm Jumeirah had already become the world's largest artificial island. Also at this time, 75% of the properties were ready to hand over, with 500 families already residing on the island. By the end of 2009, 28 hotels were on the crescent. The complexities of the construction were blamed, in part, for the extended delays to the completion of the project, the date of which was pushed back multiple times and was nearly two years late. In 2009 the New York Times reported that NASA laser altimeter satellites had measured the Palmer's sinking at the rate of 5 mm per year. In response Nackel said they had received no reports of structural problems of a type that would be expected if there were a subsidence, and pointed out that the laser satellites had a measurement resolution of only 50 mm The outer breakwater was designed as a continuous barrier, but by preventing natural tidal movement, the seawater within the palm became stagnant. The problem was corrected by adding another gap in the barrier. The breakwater was subsequently modified to create gaps on either side, allowing water quality tidal movement to oxygenate the water within and prevent its nadinating, or be less efficiently than would be the case if the breakwater did not exist. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.